Hello my alien students, welcome back. So this is part 2 of the recap on uh, HVAC ducting, I would say drafting, isn't it? So today what we are going to learn? We are going to learn something called as creating flexible duct, okay, something which is a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, kind of, not difficult I would say, there's some procedure for it, okay. So what I will do is, I will teach you how to do it and then you know you can be happy, okay. So this is one air terminal and let's suppose we have one mm, rectangular duct, sorry, yeah, click a point, okay, and then we said supply, no, okay. Generally, okay, let's say such a uh, HVAC, okay, generally you would create one layer for the duct, main duct, let's say HVAC supply, isn't it, rectangle, isn't it. Okay, and then you would say, let's say rectangle, what's the width of the duct, uh, let's say dimension, I'm sorry, click a point, what's the width, dimension, width, how much, okay, let's say 600, okay, what's the, now it's actually we are talking about width and then this is height, height can be anything, let's say 300. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, then what we'll do is stretch F8, isn't it? Okay, maybe we can increase the width. Okay, this one beautiful question has come. Okay, I want to somebody to give me this answer. Okay, this, I'll teach you this trick. Measure every time everybody have a problem with that okay how can we get small one okay this is 600 let's make it 900 okay stretch how much you need to add 300 isn't it okay then what you want to do this is procedure for uh, what's this guy called flexible duct type spline okay. from where you're going to start you're going to start from here okay room your f8 click once click any second time done okay done so we'll have a flex duct like this isn't it okay now the story comes now is the story where it starts okay we create one more layer okay we keep one more layer I generally love this okay keep it like this flex keep it green okay so let yeah let's close this keep this guy in flex duct if you can't see what I did, isn't it? Flex duct is there. Okay. Yeah. Then what you're going to do is this is a small trick here. You're going to type rectangle. Okay. Then just draw a rectangle. Dimensions. Oh, sorry. Click a point. John, you're skipping procedure. Okay. Dimension. Uh, length 25. Width 100. Okay. Looks small. Good. Explode it. Okay, then you're going to explode it 25 up, uh, sorry, yeah, offset 25. This is the rule, okay. What's the story? This is the rectangle, offset, distance, 25, object. Okay, then what we're going to do is you're going to create a block. I can generally move this guy near so you can see him. He's near, same family. Okay, then what you're going to do is listen. What you're going to do? You're going to do something called as block. We call him FL flex duct one or flex duct. Okay, base point try to keep in one of the corners. Let's say this one. This is important. Select the object, tell him this one. What you want to do? Tell him adios. 
okay now is the story click measure there's one command called measure measure what this object then what from where block do you think he's going to give me the no, no, f l x one do you want a line yes length specify enter specify the length of the segment okay so where will we okay what's the length length means 25 okay 25 means why that you know the block width was uh, 25 type 25 done okay you just do one more thing if you like okay one more uh, spline uh, one more uh, flex duct create copy generally this would have been in a block isn't it that's the thing is if you it become headache now you see if i okay no problem listen create another one c copy okay, let's say uh, isn't it what did we say spline from where center isn't it let's say click one point here okay so we're gonna have this here okay then what we said measure what this then block uh, we said f flex one flex two. what are the name of the block do you want a line yes what's the width 25 okay so i hope you understood how to create flex ducts in uh, autocad okay so that's the story for today i think coming forward we'll be teaching how to create elbows etc etc long radius short radius whatever 45 degree 90 degree bends etc i think for this only we will do okay anyway i hope everybody this is rubbish this is not the way you draw it i think this is the best way to draw make it straight isn't it? that makes sense okay anyway i hope everybody enjoyed today's class see you fresh and energized in the next class yalla bye